What's going on guys, Juju Beats here. In this video, I'm going to show you how to chop samples like a god. So, I have a sample right here. I'm going to let you hear it. Alright, so what you want to do firstly is you want to open the sample on a new fruity slicer channel and from here you set it to 16 or you can set it to whatever I set it to 16 and then you wanna turn all these off go to the slicing slice by beat and you have all these Now you want to go to your piano roll, delete all these notes, and this is the fun part where you chop it up. So when you're chopping, it all comes to preference and how you like it. Uh, so I'm going to start, see what I like. Oh, forgot to turn off the sample. I'm not sure if you hear it, but if you can hear the clicking sound, what you do, you go to Fruity Slicer, you turn the attack up, and it should fix it. I like how that sounds. Let me duplicate them and I'll switch it up. Alright, well, I'm done. 
Here's a full chop. Now let's compare it to the actual sample. Here's the original sample. There's a chop version. Yeah, that's pretty much it. So, when you're chopping a sample, it comes down to how the producer chops it. And everyone has a different mindset, so they'll chop it very differently. So, I'm going to do it with another sample. I already have Fruity Slicer opened up for this one. Once again, I set it 16. I turn all these off, slice it by beat, and piano roll, delete these notes, and time to chop it up. Once again, if you hear the popping noise, turn the attack up. And I forgot to turn off the sample again. So I like that right there. Switch up the second part so it won't be so repetitive. So, there you have it. Chopped up another sample. Let's compare it. Here's the original sample. Here's our chop sample.
So yeah, hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, please drop a like and comment. If you like these tutorials, once again, like and let me know in the comments what other type of tutorials you guys want. So yeah.